All right, so we've built up quite a bit in our uh, little uh, sample tutorial application so far in this Tech Byte series. Uh, we've created a basic user interface. We've seen how we can tie into the camera of the device to scan a barcode. We've seen how we can add a REST API call to our application and how we can now wire that to the scan of the barcode, fetch the data and save that in a data variable. The very last step that we need to do is display that data and then test our application. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's come back to our application and um, right here underneath the scanning area, let's add some text so we can display a little bit of the output. So what we wanna put here is now the product information there we are. And then let's add a paragraph underneath that. And instead of hard coding the data in this paragraph, let's change the binding type and instead bind this to a data variable. And now we're going to say, let's take this and bind this to a data variable that we created in the previous tutorial, the open food facts. And this is going to open up all the possible fields here. And what we want to display is the product name. So let's just grab the product name there. There we are. See a sample value being returned. And let's go ahead and save that. And let's add one more piece of information. So let's just add another paragraph here. Repeat the steps of going to a data variable. Also from the food facts. And this time we want energy. We get our calorie information. There we are. So we'll just grab energy. And let's save that. Save our whole application. There we are. And at this point, we're ready to test, right? So let's go ahead and bring up the AppGyver preview application. I'm just pulling it up on my, on my phone here. And I see my Tutorial Tech Bytes app, and I'll go ahead and open it on my phone. And I see my scanning. And at this point, I could scan something. So let's say scan. And I've got a little can of drink here ready. And we're getting our product information back. Or we could do a scan even of the barcode that's in the tutorial itself. And there we see our brownie M&Ms and the cal calorie uh, values that are coming back from that. So we've, in a matter of, oh, maybe 15 minutes, uh, even with me explaining things as we go, we've built a, a complete mobile application that's running in a test mode on my phone uh, that's able to scan barcodes and uh, return information from an external API. So I hope this has given you a nice introduction and feel for what's possible with the AppGyver development environment, how we're able to do all this without writing a single line of code, how you can interact with existing services, uh, how you can interact and take advantage of the power of your mobile device as well, and build some very nice looking and capable apps without uh, a lot of front-end development experience. And whether you're this kind of citizen developer that wants to begin building apps without a lot of formal IT development experience, or you're maybe just a developer that wants a faster tool to be able to build, um, particularly nice mobile user interfaces, or you're maybe a primarily back-end developer and you just don't have a lot of front-end and particularly mobile app development experience, all these uh, 
all these situations are well suited to uh, building apps using the AppGyver capability.